Today is uh, Saturday. It's November the or Friday, November the second. Woman and friend and I have come to uh, Castle Rock State Park. Woman and I are going to go hiking. We parked here in the Old Orchard picnic area. Woman, of course, is in a big hurry. We're going to go. Came up. We came up this grass path here. It's uh, pretty hilly. Yeah, you can see there's a lot of hills here. <laughs> I think this is Aspen Ridge. And then the trail starts up again off the road on the other side of this picnic area. So we'll go up there. Now we climbed up a lot, and now we got to go back down. I'm uh, sure we'll end up going back up. There's these little hills of gravel every once in a while. I think they're just to keep the water from washing out the trail. Pretty in here. I don't know what those uh, pink ribbons are for. They're all over the place. Maybe they mark the edge of the hunting area. I noticed this. There's a lot of uh, a lot of them on the no hunting signs. I emailed the uh, park superintendent last year and asked him if there was any uh, creeks in here. He said there was one. He didn't say. I don't remember if he said where. This looks like more like a gully. Anyway, there's no water in it for a thirsty beagle. Gosh, and steep hill bridge at bottom. Yeah, it's steep. <laughs> Doesn't look like it here, but just past where that tree goes over at an angle there. It's about a 30 degree angle down. <laughs> All right. We're still on Forest Ridge Trail, and this is another bridge over probably the same gully. No water here either. Looks like this is the, uh, just returns back to the parking lot. It says it's a quarter mile that way. Must mean we went a three quarters of a mile. All right, that's uh, hilly. I think this is what's called wildlife viewing. Not completely sure. We're gonna go up here and look. There's P1 parking, I guess this is hunter parking. Gate's not locked, it's closed. There's this gravel road. I don't know where it goes. There's a sign there that's rotted out. Can't see it. Uh, don't know what it says. Looks like this path was only recently cut. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe they're planning to burn it or whether they cut it for the hunters. I think we're actually north of the uh, established wildlife viewing trail. Not sure if this is a trail or a fire break but, or something they cut for the hunters. Hard to tell. Yeah, I saw a deer just to the right of that old shed. Didn't get the camera turned on fast enough. Oh, this is pretty strange. It's a concrete block building out here in the middle of the forest. Yeah, I'm guessing it... Maybe at one time it was a pit toilet. There being a pit there, but not much of a pit. I don't know what it is. A couple shotgun shells in there. Empty ones, probably. Well, I think we've had enough walking around on the field. I think we're going to take this trail. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is the, uh, I don't know, hard to say. We're going to head south on this trail, though. goes back into the woods. Oh, there's a trail marker that says 9, but <laughs> there's no numbers on the map, so I don't know what it means. We passed another marker that says 10 on it, so I'm guessing this must be the wildlife viewing 
trail. Got a pretty valley down there. There's a kind of a deck up here. You can just sit here and look out. I haven't seen anything except the one deer that I caught a flash of by the old pit toilet. Well, and I stopped to take a little break here. I took my coat off and tied it to the back of my pack. I don't know how well that's going to work. It really doesn't tie very well, but about the best thing I could do. We emptied the little stainless steel bottle of water. There's 24 ounces in there. Both of us were thirsty. Now we're going to go to the right here. It appears to be the Heather Valley Trail. Posts 12 to 20. Uh, you can continue this way, go around the valley or something, but I think we'll go on this Timber Edge Trail. Looks like if you hit this one twice, you can kind of do a figure eight and catch all of that and this little trail. I don't know what's here, but it's pretty out here. So, we'll see. Well, I found a creek. There's actual water in it, too. This is on the, let's see, the second uh, part of the uh, Heather Valley Trail. Now uh, we're down here, and I'll bet you this trail goes up the side of this hill eventually. Maybe not. An interesting rock formation up there. I don't know, 50 feet maybe up in the air. Ironically, they allow hunting in here though. <laughs> in the nature preserve. I don't know if they really ban dogs or not. Well, as promised, there's a scenic view. It's actually quite nice. There's a bench up here. Wilma and I may sit down for a few minutes. Wilma probably won't sit, but you know. Back from the scenic view, looks like there's an old trail here. It's not marked, but. It looks like it's a trail. We're going to walk down there and see. Now, it looks like there's a tree blocking the road that's been there for a long time. I think this used to be a trail. There's a rock outcropping there. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not going to try and climb over the tree. Besides, it's getting late. Here's the creek again. But there's not any way that I can see to get to it. Yeah, well, I might be able to get to it over there. I ain't gonna let her try. Now there's the Heather Valley Trail we just finished. Now we're back on, I think they call it the Nature Walk. Now we came on the ski trail that <coughs> crosses uh, trail number two. It looked interesting, so. And it was kind of headed in the direction we wanted to go, just more or less south. And now it's kind of looping back, so it's probably going to loop back to the parking lot, you might guess. Well, we'll have found another creek. Not much water flowing through it, but. You know, a thirsty beagle can't uh, can't be too choosy. This is where the creek comes out. It seems fairly deep here, but it doesn't seem like it's flowing at all. If it is. It's very, very slow. There is the park road there. Let's see if we can figure out where we're at when we get out here. 